Speaking of pitching, um, we are not getting uh, Montgomery. He went to the D-bags on a one-year deal, and I- I'm not so upset about that. I mean, like, listen, Dombrowski's like, we've got the pitching. We're okay for now. We'll deal with it later. I agree with him. He's like, you don't want to just start spending money like crazy. We've already spent a lot of money on this roster as it is. It is time to kind of pull back and be like, all right, let's just see what we might need midseason as opposed to buying now like crazy. We don't even know. I mean, Walker could come back and be great. So we've overspent. If we get we get Montgomery or something, we, we have too many people. Not that that's a bad thing, but I like the idea of just kind of wait and see. So um, I really like the Phillies this year to be over 90 wins. I think they'll still be in second place, but I think they'll have the top wild card. I don't see them passing the Braves. The Braves are just too good and stacked every which way. I think it's a two-team race. Um, Nationals, eh. Miami's got a great pitching staff, but I don't see them pulling it together. Um, and the Mets are still going to be a mess. I just don't I don't see them doing anything. I mean, they lost all their pitching. So I think they'll be okay, but I really think uh, that's where it's going to be. I think opening day, I think the Phillies win uh, like 4-3, to 3-2, three, three to 4-2, to two, something like that. So I think opening day they win. I don't know about the series. I think they might lose the series at Atlanta on the opening thing, but it's not – that imperative that they win the opening series. I think yeah, it's just the new season. Like that, as long as it's competitive and, uh, you know, it, it's fun and everybody's kicking off to it. I love what the what the Braves manager said, you know, trash the uh, Phillies fans. You know, we just feed off that reputation-wise. I hope he knows that. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, him being like, oh, it's the roughest fans and they yelled at my kids or whatever. It's like, you know, we laugh at that and like we'll take pride in it in a sick way. Of course, we're gonna have to. I mean, obviously, we don't want anything like illegal. Like, don't do anything stupid. But yeah, if if, it, if he's just talking about like them heckling and booing them and giving them a little shit, it's like, dude, get over yourself. Yeah, get like, out of here. Like, hey, we don't want you in this town. It's like it's yeah. like if you can't handle that, dude. I can't believe you're in sports. Um, and it's you're like you know, yeah. I saw the Flyers lost. They stink six five in overtime to the Rangers. They suck. they got a point down. They got a point. I guess it's all right, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, but I think right now, so I don't know about Bauer. So Jimmy the K is all about Bauer. I, I think he's the kind of guy who's still going to be out there in a month or two. So I don't think you have to rush to sign that guy. So he'll be still pitching somewhere. If he wants to take a minor league deal, I don't think I'd be against it. I mean, this is a guy, again, he's had some troubled history. Uh, he was found innocent. So, yeah, could this guy could simply come on the team and do something, but We've had some bad instances where we had uh, that outfielder, I can't remember his name, for the Phillies, the center fielder who had the domestic violence thing. Turned out... Oh, Dubal. Yeah, Dubal. And then, you know, it turned out he wasn't really prosecuted for it or the charges were dropped eventually, but it's still that stigma, and I think you got to be careful with that. So, yeah, I mean, if the players are on board and the fans aren't going to cry too much, uh, you know, and this guy is clean, I'd say, okay, take a shot at him. I know the now now... Fancy, dude. Jimmy's just he, guy. I really believe he has his pants down when he watches this video. I swear to God, that's all he does is watch the scene. Bauer leaving the bases stranded. Getting Golfy, he loves it. He absolutely loves it. Yeah. So, um, so I, I'd say, again, as long as the players are on board, the fans are okay, the management's okay, and he takes a minor league deal, and you can bring him up, I'm okay with it. But that's from right now. I don't think we need anybody until we see that we have to. Because I think we're jumping the gun. Let's take it time by time. So that's for me. Um, it is gone! Yes! yes! It is Bedlam at the bank as Bryce Harper has put the fill. 